We're getting ready to get this uh, trailer hitch hooked up to the receiver on our Ford Super Duty here. And we're going to use one of Tech Team's hitch pins. Tech Team makes two hitch pins. The number 851, which is a simple 5 ace pin with a uh, hairpin. And then the number 852, which is a longer version, also 5 eighths inch diameter. And that comes with a, um, a locking PTO clip and a chain so that you don't lose your clip. If you've done this before, you'll be able to figure out exactly what I'm doing. You won't have too many questions. If you haven't, well, this is not rocket science and this will go together quick and easy. Step one, we put our hitch into the receiver and we line up the holes. Just like that. If you're having difficulty getting those holes to line up, a real handy tool to use is a, a, a drift pin like this. And this, oddly enough, is part of Tech Team's number 707 professional pry bar set. Sometimes these things stick, and what you do is you get that pin in there and work it in, and you get the holes to line up just perfectly. Now it's just a matter of taking this is the number 851 pin, putting it into the hole which we've lined up, put it through, and all you have to do is now take your hairpin, put it into the hole, give it a push, all right, so it locks on there, and now you're good to go. If you've purchased a number 852, which comes with a, um, a PTO clip on it, it works the same way. We're putting it in from the other side because a light package is, um, is in the way over there and we're not able to get it in otherwise. And you just put the clip through it, set the, uh, the spring, and now you're good to go. The really nice thing about this is, since it's chained on, you never have to worry about losing your clip. A few technical details on uh, Tech Team's hitch pins. On the bottom, we have the number 851, which, as you can see, has a usable length of about four and a half inches. And on the top here, we have a number 852, which has a usable length of between six and six and a half inches. They're both made from the same heat-treated steel stock, which is showing at uh, 0.63 inches. And as we know, 0.625 inches is five-eighths of an inch. Number 851 is your basic hitch pin. Comes with a, um, a hairpin clip like this that goes through a hole just like that, and you can lock in place in the first detent and the end of the shaft is tapered or beveled so it fits into the, uh, the hole in the receiver and hitch easily. The 852 is uh, similar to the other one in many respects. It has the same uh, beveled tip so it fits into the, the holes in the receiver and hitch easily, but it has a really nice swivel handle. And if you've ever been in a situation where there's been rust on the receiver, the hitch, or something like that, and the, uh, the hitch pin is a little bit snarky and difficult to get out, this is a real super feature. It comes with this handy PTO clip rather than the, um, the hairpin. And this is really, really neat because it's very easy to use, um, particularly if, you're, uh, if you have any arthritis or any problems with your hands or something like that. It's, it's far superior as far as functionality is concerned. And so that you don't lose it, it's attached by this chain, which has clips on the end so you can attach it right to the handle of the hitch pin. This feature with the, um, the PTO clip being attached to the handle with the chain comes into really sharp focus if you've ever misplaced the hairpin clip on a regular uh, hitch pin. Like for instance, you left it on your bumper and drove away. That's when this feature is really appreciated. Both of our hitch pins have a durable yellow zinc dichromate finish. As you may appreciate, in many parts of the U.S. and Canada, where winter is a factor and salt and other chemicals are put on the road, this particular feature is really important because it ensures a long service life for the hitch pin.